Welcome to So True. And today's devotional is entitled, Keep Knocking. It's based on Luke 11, verse 9, where Jesus says, I say to you, ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. William Temple, 98th Archbishop of Canterbury, famously said that prayer is not the overcoming of God's reluctance, but the laying hold of his willingness. In these words, we are reminded that we should never be afraid to pray to God or hesitate to ask for his help. God doesn't have to be conjoled into taking interest in our interests. He's more than willing to help us. He's more willing to help us than we are to ask for his help. Read James 1 verse 5. The Lord tells us to ask and it will be given to you. God is not like one of those soda machines that you have to kick and bang to get anything from. But that raises a question, doesn't it? If prayer is not the overcoming of God's reluctance, then why does Jesus tell his disciples and by implication tell us to keep on asking? That's the grammar of the Greek. Asking, seeking, knocking. Why is there this persistent call to persistence in prayer in Scripture? If God is so willing to answer our heart's cry, why this call to keep on asking? Now, I believe the answer to that question lies in the fact that persistence in prayer is more about changing us than it is about changing God. It's our lack of faith that needs to be overcome, our mixed motives that need to be purified, our ingratitude that needs to be challenged, and persistence in prayer helps us on these three fronts. Let's just work our way through that. Firstly, let us not forget that when we remain steadfast in prayer, our faith grows. Faith's like a muscle. Trust in God is like a muscle, and the more it's exercised, the stronger it grows. Prayer is an act of trust, of faith, of belief in God, and persistent prayer is a stretching of our confidence in God. After all, to pray once about a matter and then forget it would be a matter of presumption rather than prayer. On the second front, let us not forget that persistent praying assists us in the process of determining the extent to which we truly want and genuinely need what we're requesting of God. Good parents don't rush out and buy a particular toy first time their child asks for it. Instead, they allow time to go by to determine the depth of the child's desire, the genuineness of the need. God's love for us is just as discriminating. And so he has us ask again and again. This process keeps prayer from being seen as a magic wand. And then finally, and thirdly, on another front, let us not forget that perseverance in prayer fosters a greater gratitude to God's provision when it finally comes. In a world of instant gratification and access to too many things, we can often fail to appreciate what we have and what comes easily to us. We take things for granted, let's admit it, rather than with gratitude. As it is in life, Would you not agree? So it is in prayer. That which is received after a time of waiting and pursuing and and a seeking after God is generally greeted with greater thanksgiving. As we close, persistence in prayer is good for you and brings good to you. Therefore, keep knocking. (laughs) 